Welcome to our midweek meditation. It has been in many parts of our country and for many people a week of very intense news stories. And so today we're going to try to slow down and spend some time with one news story doing a Lectio Divina. Um, often, if we rush through reading a whole lot of news at once, it can feel overwhelming to our spirits. And so we're going to work on um, a practice of empathy today by spending time reading through one story several times. I want to start, first of all, with uh, a reading from Psalm 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So I'm just going to go through um, how to do the meditation and then um, you'll do it on your own, on your own time, however long you want to spend with it. So the first thing to do is to choose a news story. Um, you can use whatever form of news you like to, to read or listen to. So that can be a story that you read on your computer or on your phone. It can be a good old-fashioned newspaper, a hard copy. Um, you can even do it listening to the radio or a TV story, but make sure it's one that you can go back and repeat and, and listen to or to read several times in a row. We're going to use the method of Lectio Divina, which is an ancient spiritual practice that is usually done with scripture, where you read the same scripture passage several times in a row and see what words or phrases or feelings really emerge for you. So what you're going to do is find a comfortable and peaceful place to sit where you feel like you can really relax and feel calm and centered and get a comfortable position. Take your, your news source. Um, I'm gonna use a story from today um, about um, the protests that took place in my own city of Raleigh here um, and, and how um, it's called in downtown Raleigh, officers kneel in solidarity with protesters. So you pick whatever, whatever story, whatever topic um, you want to do today. Um, of course, there's lots of stories about protests, but also about the coronavirus and, and uh, many things going on in our world. So we're going to read or listen to the same news story three times in a row. And the first time you read it through, read it slowly, take your time, and pay attention to the perspective of one person or group that is in the story that's impacted by the event described. So for example, as I read through this the first time, I might read it from the perspective of those who are protesting and really try to put myself into their shoes to um, think about what they might be feeling, to even think about their full experience. What are they smelling and hearing and tasting? Um, and, and to do this without judgment, but with a sense of empathy as if you're in their position. So, um, so read through it one time from a particular perspective. And when you finish, just stop and take about five or 10 deep breaths and clear your minds. Just focus on your breath and reset. And then go back and read the same story a second time. And this time read it from the perspective of a different person or group that is in the story. So for example, the second time through, I might read from the perspective of the police officers who were involved and really put myself in their shoes, think about um, their sensory experience, think about what they're feeling. Um, and so read it through a second time. And then when you finish again, stop, take about five to 10 deep breaths and clear your mind, reset. And then the third time, go back and read through the story and this time do it from your own perspective how notice how reading the story makes you feel what are the images and the phrases um, and the feelings that arise for you on this third reading of the story what what do you want to carry away from it and when you finish again take about five to ten deep breaths try to clear your mind and release 
um, any of the stress, the tension that you feel um, from this story. And then close by saying a prayer for everyone who was impacted by this event. So I hope that reading the news in this way helps us to, uh, to really approach what's happening in our world from a deeper sense of empathy um, and compassion, both for the people in the story, but also for ourselves as we have to process a lot of information right now um, and a lot of overwhelming information. So with meditation and deep breaths and compassion for our world, I invite you into a time of meditation.